Hello Stampers, it's Liz Holloway at Liz Holloway Designs and welcome to my How It's Made tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this Shakers card using the uh, new balloon framelits die and this is just a lovely piece to work on. And if, as you open it up, you'll have the new die called Hello You. So let's get started. We are going to start off with a four and a quarter by 11 inch whisper white cardstock and then scoring it at five and a half inch. I'm taking my anywhere glue stick and depending on which side you want, use the glue stick and apply to the back surface of the designer paper and adhere to the card front. To get the angle piece, I took the next designer piece of paper and cut it at four and a quarter by eleven and I placed the second designer paper to the angle of the base card. Next, I turned the base card over and just using my pen and just drawing the cut lines. As you can see, I also placed a star on the upper right hand corner and this will tell me that I'm supposed to put it on the left side of the um, base card when I am done. And I'm bringing back my Big Shot and this time I'm using my Butterfly Framelit die from the 2015 Occasion Catalog. I'm taking the balloon die and die cutting the angle piece of the designer paper. Once this is cut, you want to keep this piece. The next thing you want to do is line up the angle designer paper that you just cut onto the base card and then gluing the back side of the balloon. I'm aligning the blue loom back into the negative piece so that uh, when I lift up the negative piece, the balloon is situated where I want it to be. I found some fun foams at the dollar store and it comes in a variety of colors and one side is self adhesive backing. It can, if you can't locate them at the dollar store, you can purchase these at Amazon.com and I will link it to the bottom of my YouTube and my blog. I cut two 3x3 three three squares and why I did this is because the foam is only 1 16th inch thickness and I want to make sure whatever shaker cards or shaker accessories I put in that there is enough depth to move in. So I stack the, these squares together and lay the balloon die onto the foam. And then what you'll need to do is cut through these two layers by cranking through the Big Shot several times. The Big Shot will condense the foam down, but it will return to its original height after a couple of seconds. Once you've gone through the Big Shot, you can keep the positive balloon piece for later use. The next thing I did is I removed the protective backing sheet and carefully laid the foam over the balloon and ensuring that it all lines up to the base card. Next I took the window sheet which is cut at 2 and 7 eighths by 2 and 7 eighths and adding Suk Wang around the circumference of the window sheet. If you don't have the Sukwang tape, you can simply use the red sticky tape and that would be sufficient. I have removed all the protective backing sheet around the window sheet and placed it behind the angle designer paper. So I've got some silver beads here and I'm just applying the silver beads onto the image here, onto the balloon. And I'm also going to add uh, the Sukwang tape onto the foam. Okay. And then carefully laying this right at the corner, starting at the bottom corner, and then lying, lying this, aligning it right against the edge. And then once you got that done, your balloon should line up like so. And then you can seal it into place. I'm going to just cut out this little flag here uh, on old olive. And I'm using this as my little flaggy thing. 
To create the curly twine, I took the Calypso Coral Baker's Twine and what I did was I created a loop and using the short end and going right over and under and then through the loop and then tightening up the bow. Now you can adjust the bow by pulling the ends in and then pulling the bows to tighten up the knot. Here I got about maybe three quarters of an inch and, um, and that's probably the, the smallest I would go. Here I'm taking crystal effect and adding it to my craft mat and then tapping the bottle down and then squeezing the excess out and this way it will prevent your crystal effect from clogging up the nozzle. The next step is I took my fingers and I ran the crystal effect right through in between the uh, baker's twine just to make sure that I got enough glue on the twine and basically it's to stiffen up the twine as well as to create the loops. So here what I'm doing is now creating the loop. Okay, And then at this point you can add it onto your paper. Now be careful where you're adding your your um, card just because uh, there's glue right here. And so here I'm adding more crystal effect and then I'm ready, adding it right onto my card. And there's, not, there's enough crystal effect on the baker's twine that it's going to act as a bonding um, adhesive to your string. And then I'm removing the baker's twine. And this one I'm shortening it up a little bit. And then while I have my crystal effect out, I'm just going to add a little bit of crystal effect on the back as my adhesive. And then tucking that little tail underneath, holding that into place. And then with the buttons, Just add little elements here. And again, I'm using my crystal effect just because I have it handy. So just adding at the back. And the crystal effect is quite strong as a, a gluing mechanism. And I quite often use the crystal effect for gluing anything that's 3D. Okay. And then so what you have here is just the front end. It's, and it's already done. And you can see how beautiful the, um, the silver beads are rolling and it's really easy. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete the inside and so I'm using the Hello You, which is the happy here, and I'm going to cut this on black cardstock as well as the Calypso Coral. Can't get this part out so I'm going to just go ahead and piece this on top. So here, again, using my crystal effect as it's nice and handy and I love the tip so what I'm doing is I'm squeezing out a small amount uh, crystal effect and just guiding it with the uh, nozzle, the nozzle tip. Just enough to coat the back side of the happy. And then laying this offsetting the happy so it gives it a little bit of a shadow effect. And then adding, bringing back my card. So I'm going to open this up and then adding happy about three quarters down. And then just using your fingers to push. Okay, and then here I'm taking my remnant old olive and I am using the amazing birthday for you and I'm using this set called happy happy birthday to you but I don't want the happy 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 all I want is the birthday to you so what I am doing is I'm taking this here I'm going to stamp ink it up with my 
Mexico Mint to make. And then stamping it right onto the card. So again, I don't want the happy birthday to you, so now I'm gonna just go ahead and trim off the happy. is now coming to an end and I thank you for stopping by. A list of supplies can be found at my blog at stampersplus.com and I'll put a link at the bottom of my YouTube. So I hope you enjoyed this and please be sure to give me a thumbs up and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.